Wow, um, th this is my third time recording this, and th this is gonna be a pretty hard video to make. So hopefully I don't start crying mid-recording and we get through it this time around. So I'm pretty sure you guys are well aware now, Kordame posted the other day the channel's last video. And uh, when, when I saw that, it really hit me and compelled me to, to make this video. I was gonna drop something very lighthearted, something really funny, but when I saw that video, I, I thought it was more appropriate to, to make this video. And there's just so much I could say about in terms of how YouTube is abandoning a lot of these OG anti-tubers. You know, earlier this year, you saw the whole fallout with Misty, and uh, I can say so much about that aspect of things. But I, I think this video, I want to focus strictly on my relationship with Corname. To give you guys some background, you know, I've been always trying to make it on YouTube. And for the longest time, things weren't working out. I, I was barely hitting 100 views a video. And at a certain point, I, I really contemplated about just giving up this whole thing. And then randomly on one day, I decided to DM Corname. And Corname surprisingly replied back. And I was like, okay, th this is pretty cool. And we just ended up just messaging each other back and forth. And then at a certain point of the conversation, I, I sent over my video and said, oh, uh, I'm a small time YouTuber. This is um, the videos I make. And Corname honestly said, yo, your video is pretty sick. You have pretty sick content, keep it up. And that comment, it, as small and simple as it sounds, it made a very lasting impression on me and something that helped me keep creating videos. Because in my head, I was like, yo, if a big timer YouTuber like Kordame says my content is dope, what says that my content won't blow up on YouTube? And so, yeah, that I started to keep making videos going forward. And then fast forward, I, I graduated from college and it, it was one of the, the toughest times in my life, honestly. I was unemployed for months on end. I was just applying all day. And then when I was sick of applying, uh, I was just watching anime. Uh, I, I was like a, a halftime neat at that point. And one day I, I get an email from Kordame and I was like, oh, it's Kordame. Let, let me see what Kor wants to talk about. And Kor was pretty much saying like, yo, Tony, I, I know you're talented at video editing. Do you want to help me with the sponsorship with Crunchyroll? <laughs> and right when I saw sponsorship and Crunchyroll in that single sentence, I jumped on the opportunity. I'm like, hell yeah, I'll help you out with this. And to make a good first impression, I straight up worked on that video for six hours straight. I, I was able to make that whole video and send it back to Core the same day. And Core was kind of blown away. Core was like, yo, you're, you're quick with it. I appreciate that. And uh, Core drops that video and emailed me back saying that Crunchyroll really liked the sponsorship video. And I liked it too. And I was like, wow. I, I was mind blown at that point because you know, Crunchyroll is such a big company. I'm pretty sure you guys know recently in the news, Crunchyroll got sold for like $1.2 billion. So we're talking about a huge ass company. And to be able to work with a big company during that time of just desperation, during a time when nothing was working out, it lit a fire in my heart. And it continued to fuel that drive of making content. And then what unfolded after that whole occurrence was Core would approach me with these different amazing sponsorship opportunities, like companies I never in a hundred years thought that I would be able to work with. Along that road too, I would ask Core all these different questions about how to blow up on YouTube, how to figure out the YouTube algorithm, what are some tips and advice you can give a small creator like me, and Core responded back to all my questions. I, I still vividly remember this. Core would just give like a paragraph <laughs> for each question. At a certain point, one day Core was like, yo, Tony, I, I messed with you. Uh, thank you for just helping me out with these different sponsorship videos. And I really think you're gifted. Send me one of your videos and I'll promote it on my community tab. And yeah, uh, so I, I sent a video link 
and uh, Core posted it on the community tab and the reception was insane. I'm sure that uh, some of the viewers of this video right now, I'm sure you're part of that wave, but just hundreds of people went to that video and left all these amazing comments saying that like, yo, you're actually really good at, at making videos. Like, I, I really mess with your content. I remember my sub count went up like crazy. I think I got like 3,000 subs or something that single day. At that very moment, I was like, yo, this is what I want to do. I, I want to be a content creator. And just apart from just core helping me out with my channel, I'm just getting that initial push, that initial promotion. What was a lasting impression for me was uh, Core's personality. You know, I kind of touched on it earlier, just Core responding to my emails, Core helping me with just the countless questions I had. Um, it, it was pretty mind blowing to, to have a content creator, to, to have a senpai that was so down to earth and so willing to help. You know, as big content creators, you see these different content creators and the first thing in your head is like, yo, I bet this content creator is a, is a total dick. But Court was the complete opposite of that. Court was very selfless and really helped me through, through a lot. And yeah, um, I, I just wanted to thank you in, in this video. I, I wanted to give you the roses that you deserved. You know, for, for being a trailblazer in the AniTube community to being like the number one anime compilation channel, no one can ever take that away from you. And I don't know the specifics of what Core is going to do next, but whatever future ventures, whatever future chapters you're getting into, I, from the bottom of my heart, wish you the very best. I, I hope that one day I'll be able to grow as big as your channel but yeah I, I i wanted to share this because i thought it was only appropriate as core is leaving youtube and it, it sucks man it, it honestly honestly sucks <laughs> i think uh after this video i'm probably gonna listen to some like sad boy music eat a tub of ice cream and just cry myself to sleep so thank you and i, I wish you all the best this is your boy Yi man Peace out.